It's your girl, Danny Glass. What is popping? Ah, you guys, I'm excited to be here. I'm going to come on here and just real quick share a word with you tonight. And you might want to hit the notification button because your girl is back and I have fire in my soul. And I just want to come on here and share. So it's Sunday. I take the day for Sundays and I take time to reflect. I take time to restore myself and I am lit up. So I hope you find value in this. Maybe tag a friend. If you do, maybe share the hit the share button because here we go. You guys, listen, I was sitting in, in worship today. Now, our governor, Governor Whitmer, just announced in Michigan, like we're all getting shut back down again. I'm really not surprised, to be honest. And I, I'm already seeing like the news feed, right? Like, oh, here we go again. And, and I get that. I get that. But I want to just share this today because, um, you guys, listen, it was like in my spirit. Our sermon today was your trials will turn into triumphs. Your trials will eventually turn into triumphs. And when you're in the middle of it, though, y'all, right? It doesn't feel like it. Like, oh, my God, can we just start, you know, can it just end? Can it please just end? So I wanted to share this with you guys real quick. Number one, I think when you can learn to embrace that you're going to have trials in this thing called life, they're not all from God. They're some of them are self-induced. Some of them is just because we're in the cesspool over here called the earth, right? We have all of this going on. And God does allow things to happen to us. So how do we deal with it? It's kind of like today I was thinking about this. Like, okay, a runner doesn't just say, okay, I'm going to go run a marathon, register, and goes the day of, signs, you know, shows up the day of it and says, oh, like I'm going to run a race today. Do they? No, they don't. They prepare. They prepare they gain their endurance. They're in the streets, right? Or wherever they're at to train for it. I believe we have to train ourselves for these fiery trials. So how do we do that? So number one, I'm going to just share with you guys. I, you know, I don't know if you guys know this. I believe in the word of God. And in James, James was, it's believed to, he was the brother of Jesus. Now I want you guys to think about this. The brother of Jesus did not believe who he was. And I want you to think about this too. The religious people of that time persecuted Jesus because I didn't believe who he was. So you're going to get persecuted by people that, you know, hey, claim to be Christians, people that are family members. Like that's my example in here. And I, I, I'm just following that, right? So here's a, here's a guy who did not even believe Jesus. He's like, who are, like, you're the Messiah. What? You're my brother. No, you're not the Messiah. And in fact, there's a verse in here that Jesus had to leave his home people because they didn't want to hear what he had to say. So why do we expect our close family and friends to hear what we have to say either? When you start making a transformation, they're really not going to want to hear, especially if they're doing the things you're doing. And you're, if they're, you're, you know, if you're, you're growing and learning and they want to stay put. If they're not willing to do that, you're going to lose people along the way. So here's the thing. Here's here's James. He did believe when Jesus arose from the dead. Why would believe do, right? So here's the thing, you guys. He says in James, four tips. Verse, ver, James 1, verse 2. Well, verse 2, it says, hey, count it all joy. Count it all joy. Gratitude. Gratitude is everything in every day. All day long because you have to clean to what you can't see you have to have by faith right romans 10 17 says by faith by faith comes by the word of god so in order to prepare ourselves for the trials we better be learning the word of god to help us feed our spirit so count it all joy because you know it's going to happen boo boo it's going to happen step number two know this and verse three he says know this that the trying of this, it's going to work patience. How many of you guys out here need more patience? Like, I know me, right? So to know it, like, hey, this doesn't feel good right now, but I know it's going to produce fruit later on. So then the verse, the third point was in verse four, let it, let it do its work. We're so impatient, we're so freaking impatient. We want everything hot now. We don't want it. Do y'all know it took Abraham? He was told he was going to have a son with Sarah. It was 
was like 25, 28 years or something like that before it finally happened. And God told him directly, directly, you guys crazy, right? Patience. So, um, and if we pray for it, you're going to get more trials. And then the last one is ask, ask, seek, and knock. What are you asking from God? Are you asking for that Lamborghini? Or are you asking for wisdom, like James says right here? So those are the four points to help you overcome. Did you find value in this? Let me know. Hit the share button. Tag a friend. Um, here's the thing, you guys. You're going to have trials in life. Sometimes they come at you like that left hook, right? But as you prepare and worship, prayer, the word of God, apply that to your life. So when the trials happen, you have the strength, you know why it's happened. And maybe you don't know exactly in the moment, but you're trusting God and we have access directly to him. He says, if we'll humble ourselves and seek him, we can find him, you guys. So I've had a lot going on. I've had so much going on, but I'm a freaking warrior princess. I am not allowing the enemy or situations to stop Dana Glass, no matter what it looks like right here, but you better believe I'm preparing for my trials. I am uh, counting out joy. I know I'm letting it and I'm doing the thing, you guys. So who's in it with me? My great game, get ready, because no excuse zone. We cannot live the rest of 2020 and going to 2021 with freaking excuses anymore. I love you guys. Have a fabulous night. Smooches.